Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to build the FIFA World Cup dashboard using Microsoft Power BI. Can you see that? So let's dive in. Guys, the first thing to do is to import our data set. So we need to click on the get data set here, then Excel workbook. Can you see that? So we load. So we'll be using these two data sets here, the World Cup matches and the World Cups. I'll provide a link on where to download data sets. So let's import the first data set, which is what? World Cup matches. Click on open. So after loading the first data set, which is World Cup matches, so we need to click on transform. Then we need to import the data set. Then we need to import the second data set. So we'll click on new source. So we import the second data set, which is what? World Cups. So the first one was what? World Cup matches. Now we have to import this one, which is what? World Cups. Now, after we successfully imported if two data sets, so all we need to do is to perform data cleaning. So we go to the World Cup matches. I will press Control A. Can you see that? So we go to the home tab here and click on and look for what? Transform. So now I want to perform data cleaning. So first we go to our what? The home tab, then the transform ribbon here and click on what? Replace value. In our data set, some countries were not spelled properly. For example, Republic of Ireland. Can you see? So, we need to replace it with what? With the correct value. That is, what this does is that if you look for this value here, this one, it is greater than sign. You look for it. Then and it will replace it with the appropriate spelling, which is what Republic of Ireland. So we'll click on OK. It will clean our data set. We also notice another incorrect spelling in our data set. Germany. Germany FR. Supposed to be spelled Germany. Can you see? So click on OK. Do the same thing for China. It was spelled wrongly China PR. So, as a data analyst, the first thing to do is to clean your data. Look for the data, look for the data in correct spelling and clean it. So we've converted this China PR. It will remove this China PR and change it to what? China. Click on OK. Now, the next thing to do after um, converting our, our country name, after correcting the spelling, is to perform some other analysis. Because we need to go to our what, home team name. So we have to duplicate it. You just have to duplicate. All you need to do is what? Right click on the column. Can you see? Then you look for duplicate. Duplicate column. So can you see? So we do the same thing for what? A wait team name. Select it for it here. Press on my higher. 
Can you see that? So we have home team name copy and away team name copy. So we have to match the two together. So we want to match this home team name and the away team name. It's very simple. So we hold with our control key. Can you see that? So we use the control key and select home team name and the away team name. Then you right click. So match column. Now, the first thing you need to ask you is that the separator is what do you want it to what do you want to be between the two columns? So we'll go to custom. So I want this to be in between them versus that is BS. You know, in the match, two countries and uh, two teams are playing, let's say like Nigeria versus Ghana or Nigeria versus Portugal. So this is what we have for now. So you click on separator then custom so you can also select a, com a comma to be in between the two columns or a colon or here yeah, we want something else which is what versus that is bs so we want the name of the column to be what matches second okay thanks okay. for that thanks for that to undo these changes, all you need to do is what is to click on this red sign here. Can you see? The undo. Can you see that? You should know that Control Z doesn't work in Power BI. So all you need to do is to click on this X sign here. So let me redo it again. So these are Control Key, Home and Awaiting. Then right click. So look for Merge Columns. So go to what custom. So we need a space, then VS, another space. Can you see that? So matches. You notice that for this VS, click, let me redo it again. There's one, two, it is a space, VS, another space, one, two. So the name of the column will be what matches. Click on OK. I think there's a mistake here. No, 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 we don't want this to be in between them. No. Let me redo it again. Mistake somewhere. Can you see? Created a new column. Can you see? France versus Mexico. Now, the next thing to do now is to duplicate this table, which is what? World Cup matches. So, all we need to do is to uh, right click on it. Can you see? To bring out duplicate. I think duplicate is here. Can you see that? So instead of World Cup matches two, we want to rename it as what? Home goals. Duplicate the World Cup matches again. Duplicate it. So rename it to what? Away goals. Now, the next thing to do is to, what, to go to the home goals table. So we look for the group by. So it is under the home tab. So this is group by here. Go to advanced. So we want it to show the year. 
click on add grouping then what the home team name so one name of the column to be what home goals so that is i want to show all goals for home team so the operation should be what sum group it by what home team goals so i did for a year home team name so the name of the column should be what home goals operation should be sum then the column should be what home team goals let's see what we have here i'll click on ok can you see it will show each goals for each year that is for 1930 home team name france is they scored four goals at home can you see for usa in 1930 they scored six goals at home let's do the same thing for away team for away goals so we'll go to away goals then we look for group by see that go to advance we need the year so we'll look for away team name away team name so this one should be what away goals so the operation should be what sum sum it using the what away team goals can you see that yeah away team name the name of the column should be what away goals sum then away team goals let's see what we have to show it that is for mexico when playing at away in 1930 they scored four goals can you see that now we want to match these two tables that is the home goals and the away goals so we hold our control key and click on home goals and away goals can you see that hold our control key then home goals and away goals then we go to our home tab can you see that? Go to our combine and click on match queries. This match queries are new as new. Match queries as new. So the first table is what home goes. Second table is what away goes. So yeah, and yeah. Can you see that? Want to match? So want to match the two tables, home goals and away goals. Then we click on OK. So now we need to click on this away goals. All we need there is what is the away team name and the away goals. Can you see that? Home team name, which is fast. Then home team goes. Now you see. Can you see that? Now we need to get the total goals. That is the home goals and the away goals. So we use the control key to select the two classes. With our control key, home goals, then away goals. So right click. So sum. Sum it so together. So we name this one goals. So we don't need these two column again. This on goals and away goals. We don't need them again. So let's name this as um same goals.
Now let's save this. Now let's save this. We need to go to this tab here. Click on close and apply. Everything to save. All our changes to save. Apply changes. Now, the next thing to do is the data modeling. So, we need to go to this tab here yeah. data modeling. So, we need to drag the year from these World Cups to World Cup matches. Let's do that now. So we we'll do the same thing from this word curve to the way go. Now we've successfully connected our tables together. This is by connecting the table. Then the column, the year column from World Cups to World Cup matches by connecting the year from the World Cups to what? So the away goes. We're also connecting the year from the World Cups to the team goes here, the, the year here, and also connecting the World Cups, that is the year column to the home goes here. 